Hey, internet, this is The Root. Haven't done a video blog in a while, because, you know, shit happens. I get busy sometimes. Uh, well, in the past few days, I've basically been doing quite a bit of riding. Off and on, going some distance. I rode to King City and New Market last week, and that was great. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow also. So, that's good to know, right? Getting some good exercise, yeah. So, King City will be tomorrow. And uh, I have a specific route on what I'll be taking to get out there. And uh, I don't know how long that's going to be. But I'm going to have to get up in the morning early, as always, to get out there. Because I have to go to a memorial. And that's going to be around 2 p.m. arrival time. So, I have to hit the sack soon and get everything prepared for the next day, which isn't too much. Oh, and the other thing is, I actually replaced my handlebar covers. They were thinned out to the point where if I, and one of them kept falling off, so I don't know, sabotage or gooeyness or something. One of them was falling apart. So was the other end. I'm probably going to guess if I hadn't gotten them replaced, they probably would have uh, fallen apart. And uh, that would have been a good thing. Because who the fuck wants to use active transportation when they're holding on to the solid steel rims? Or solid steel handlebars? With nothing to grip, probably. And feeling that, that horrible shock on their hands. Yeah. It's not going to be good. There's actually no texture. You can't really grip it properly. I know some have actually got it. Or probably have maybe gotten used to using all metal handlebar covers that you can just clamp on. I've seen them. The same kind of thing you have grab texture grab bars and washers. I haven't actually considered trying to do that. That probably wouldn't be too comfortable anyway. You know. And especially not in the winter, because your hands would fucking freeze to them, and they would stick, and you would get frostbite pretty quickly. Maybe it'd be good in the summertime, but no, no, certainly not in the winter, because I tend to ride in the winter. And, well, it's not winter, but it would be nice if I tried that one day, but apparently I am not going to do that. I am not at all. Hey, kitty. Hey, no kitty. So... I got the new ones. They're actually staying fucking still now. Staying the fuck still. I Instead of using water to put them on, I used isopropyl. I just misted it and slid them on. And that evaporates quicker than water does. And lo and behold, they fucking stay put. They don't twist anymore on the handlebar. And uh, that's great. They're about five millimeters thick. The originals that were on there were only three. And they, Two points of them got worn down to just uh, the thinness of paper, and I was able to easily break that off. By accident, I tore part of it off. And that sucks. I mean, that really sucks. I'm lucky I've gotten it fixed, though. They feel so much better. So much better. And they only had a few left in the store, so I'm lucky I actually went to the store today to get them. Now, think about it. How, uh, how long that would take if I was to, if there was to be none left, I would have had to go hunting around. Of course, I don't think anyone would approve of going to Crappy Tire. Well, I would. Do you know why? You know what I'm going to say? They have good, they have a good supply of parts, and their parts actually are good. You know, mirrors, seats, yeah, replacement seats and that, you know, they have those, and they're good. They got lights there too. Cheap, but affordable, and they work. Uh, what else? They got all kinds of things there, but you know when I went there, they were running out of fucking stock. I didn't see any fucking mirrors there. Luckily, I got mirrors. And, uh, most are considering recycling their broken mirrors and putting automotive uh, mirrors on them. Something I've already done, and they're better. But the only difference is the sun glare is just terrible. Fucking terrible, should I say. Really fucking terrible, but whatever. Uh, 
And I put the other thing is, uh, they have plenty of, uh, you know, safety flags, so, oh, chance those are going to run out. But since COVID-19 has happened, is still happening and whatever, supplies are running out, and, uh, they're in very high demand, active transportation in particular. And here's a problem. Most people aren't considering that you have to fucking tune up your bike. You have to tune it up, otherwise it becomes unsafe to ride. And I make sure mine is tuned up. So maybe you should do that too. Tune the damn thing up. Make sure it works. You know, as for the Highway Traffic Act, your bike must be in good shape and be safe to use on the road so you don't put your fucking self in danger. I'm serious about that. And I've seen a lot of careless shit, so... There's idiots all over the place, so... I take care to make sure nothing of mine is falling apart. I got a replacement tire already, for one of them is very, 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 very running very low. Or thin. So I'm gonna be putting that on soon. Kevlar line, so I was able to get it before they ran out. The other one, pretty soon I'm gonna have to, you know, change that one. But, I'm going to have to see if they got any others, and, yeah, and not to mention a fucking string, uh, a twig thin, uh, budget I got to deal with. That sucks, but less money to go around, but I'm dealing with it, and I'm okay with that, as many of you are, probably. Sucks that you, if you end up losing your job because of COVID 19, that really fucking sucks. Because, trust me, I tried looking, there's not very much options. Not very much. But I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm not giving up. Once I find something suitable, I'm going for it. So, uh, yeah. If you've heard about those mono mongoose uh, handlebar covers, they are fucking amazing. And uh, they fit perfectly. And they stay put. And they're made out of the same compound of rubber as the other ones are. And the grip is really comfortable. My hands don't feel like they're stretched. And here's the best part about it. The rubber is not coming off when I ride for long periods of time. It's not shaving off. It's, that's not supposed to happen with handlebars. The rubber is not supposed to come off on your hands when you're riding. The other ones were, maybe because they wore them a bit too much. You know, the sun and that, throughout the winter and that. Yeah, you know, shit happens. These ones hopefully don't do that. And we'll have to see. In about two or three years, I may have to replace them again, but hopefully not. Anyways, I'm going to cut it short for now, and uh, I'm going to enjoy the ride tomorrow morning, because that's going to be fun going out to King City. So, yep. Anyways, peace out. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe anytime, and uh, I'll see you next time in the next video. Cheers.